Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. I am sitting here in Walmart parking lot. I'm actually about to go in. I am going to do some back to school supply shopping. Normally, I do this, I think, a little bit earlier than now, um, which we're not starting back to school until like August 15th. So I've got a few more weeks, but I also don't want all the school supplies to get picked over because sometimes I'll come and everything's already been picked over. So I'm here. I'm going to try to go ahead and get back to school school supplies um, tonight. I've got Allie with me. But yeah, I figured I would take y'all in here with me and then show you everything that I pick out. So this will be kind of like a school supply vlog, showing you everything that I got. Um, hopefully soon I'm going to be showing you also our curriculum that we're using this year and organized school space, all of that fun stuff coming up. So y'all watch out for those videos. But first of all, if you're new here, my name is Shasta. I'm a homeschooling mom to nine girls. Um, this year I will be homeschooling a 11th grader, a 9th grader, 7th grader, and then a 4th grader, 2nd grader, 1st grader. And then my youngest girls are uh, four, year, 4 years old, so she's preschool age. I've got a 3 year old and then a baby that's about to be one next week. So y'all follow us along for this fun journey and our homeschooling stuff. I've been doing this homeschooling thing for many years. I've been doing it since my oldest daughter was in kindergarten. She's going into 11th grade. We've only tried private school once, never public school. Um, last year, my three oldest girls went to private school two days a week. That just wasn't right for us. So we're back to homeschooling full time and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, my husband and I have been married for 17 years. I'm also a pastor's wife. So I just love to share day in the life vlogs here. Um, just our daily routines, uh, homeschooling, homemaking, grocery hauls, recipes, things like that. So I'd love if you'd subscribe, but we're gonna head into Walmart now. Back to school. One of my favorite times of the year besides Christmas is back to school shopping. Paper always a necessity. Look y'all, do you remember the Trapper Keepers? I remember that from when I was in school. Look at that. They're $10.87 a piece. Lots of good deals. Glue is 54 cent right now for the two pack. All right, so it is like totally the next day. We got home last night from Walmart and I honestly did not feel like getting everything out because I got a pretty good bit of stuff. So I left it in the car overnight. I didn't have anything that like needed to go in the refrigerator. I did have two boxes of cereal, so I did get that out last night. But I'm gonna show you all of our homeschool supplies that I got. Um, I know I'll remember probably one or two things before the school year starts back. End up having to go back to Walmart and getting that. And also, uh, the first day of school, I always give the girls some kind of little treat, like a little note, along with some fun pens or highlighters, just something fun. Their own little special drawing notebook, things like that. So also we'll get that closer to school time right now I just wanted to get like our basic school supplies on hand um, I also got a few things that are not school supply related Millie's birthday is Thursday so I'll hang out her a couple of party supplies and I will show you that but anyway I'm gonna turn the camera out and show you everything that I got so it's only just a few uh, non school things so I just got two bottles of this shampoo it smells really good I've used it in the past I got two of those and just a few things for Millie's birthday. I got her the little one candles, and she'll be one. Um, Coco Melon, so cute. I got her the tablecloth, the cake plates, and the actual plates to have the food on. So that's just a few things that I picked up. Now the rest of this stuff that I've got on the table is school supply stuff. So Allie was the one with me, so she was the one that really got to pick out the things that she liked. Um, which I kind of know what all the other girls are going to like anyway. So we got her this green three ring binder. It's a two inch. Um, and this is just a fun binder that she picked out. Binder folio. It's got a little zipper. And then inside it's got all kinds of little pockets. You can see the picture there. So she is going to use that one as well. Um, she's going to be my ninth grader, by the way. I got her her own pack of highlighters. These post-it notes are actually for her and Kylie both to share my high schoolers for little bookmarks. Um, they're just going to open that and split it up. And then I got her a composition notebook. And then this is her um, little dividers with tabs that's gonna go into her green binder. I got her that one. And this is the notebook that she picked out. It's just a five star notebook. And then she also picked out these journals. I always have the girls keep a prayer journal every year. Um, so this is what she picked out. They're really cute, it's the three pack journal. She also got some pens, but that's over there in the other school supply stuff. This is Emily. Um, she is going to be my seventh grader. I got her this fun little pencil pouch. She loves tie-dye. So I picked that out for her. Also got her some colored pencils to go in there. Her dividers are 
the exact same as Allie's and Kylie's, so that's hers. Her notebook and then her three ring binder. I also got her the same pack of journals. I, Allie and Emily are my girls that love to journal, so I got them the same three pack. And then up here is Kylie. She will be my 11th grader. I just got her a big, I think this is three inch. Yes, yeah, a three inch, three ring binder. Her own pack of highlighters, a couple of composition notebooks, a regular pink notebook, and then her dividers are right here. And then their one subject notebooks, they're really cheap. I want to say like 35 cents. I'm thinking I got like eight of these. Um, I like to just have these on hand because my preschoolers love to doodle. And for now, I just got two packs of notebook paper. I know we'll need more than this through the year, but I just picked up two for now. And then I got two rulers and then pencils. I went ahead and got two packs of these black pencils. Um, they're the same price as the, you know, just the regular brown pencils. So I got those, a big pack of pens. I got two boxes of crayons and then colored pencils. I got the big box of the 100 colored pencils. Um, back here is just, it actually goes over here. And then these extra bold pens were actually pretty cheap. So I got um, actually Kylie, Allie, and Emily, my two high schoolers, my middle school, a pack of their own pens right there. I went ahead and got the big pack of glue because having lots of little kids, I know we'll go through glue quickly. And they actually had this six pack of scissors. I went ahead and picked that up. I was going to get individual scissors, but it was only like $2 and something for this big pack. So I just done that. I got myself some sticky notes. And this is something fun. I got a little stamp pad. Um, the little kids love stuff like this. So it says number one, thumbs up, great work, awesome, sign return, which they won't really need that one. But I thought that would be fun and I got the ink to go with it. Then moving over here, these two little notepads are for my first grader and second grader just to help them practice their writing a little bit. And then I got myself a big three ring binder because I'm gonna need that for a lot of my um, student handouts for the teacher's curriculum so I got that for myself along with some of these dividers and then I only meant to get one pack of these dividers y'all I had them in my car and I meant to put them back but I forgot so I actually end up with three of these and that's fine I'll just put them up and I know that at some point we may use them or even put them up for next year so I have three of those um, I got one of these I used to have a white one from Ikea but y'all Walmart has come a long way they have lots of cute school stuff like Several things that I have bought in Ikea years ago, I uh, just saw in Walmart last night. So I got this to put like our scissors, our crayons, color pencils. It probably won't stay cute all year long, um, but I'm gonna make it cute for the beginning of school year. And then lastly are a bunch of composition notebooks. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use these as my little kids prayer journals for um, Holly, Amy, Bethany, and of course, I just went ahead and got Natalie and Everly one because they like to feel like big girls too. And that's it. I feel like that was a mouthful, but that is the school supplies that I picked up at Walmart last night. But anyway, that was a lot of fun to go shopping for back to school stuff. I'm excited to get all this stuff put away, get my little pen thing organized, all of the fun stuff. I think we're starting back to school August 15th. Not sure if I said that or not, but I think that's when we're gonna start back. But anyway, I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye.